<laughs> I'm from NASA Goddard, and um, I'm a space communication engineer. So that means I build cell phones for spacecraft and the ground systems for them. So uh, I don't know if you guys, who, who here knows that NASA has a huge ground station in New Mexico? Does anyone know that? Oh, that's, that's pretty good, yeah, Las Cruces. Um, and so anyways, so what I'm going to talk about today is actually really good following up on the last talk. Because I'm going to talk about how in, in our organization at Goddard, specifically engineers, we're trying to manage information. Um, so you have all this information and you're trying to apply it in new ways. The problem is, what if you lose track of it? And how do you create these connections amongst the in information that people can make sense of between projects, between contracts? Um, I know with Constellation, there was a lot of conversations in the hallway of how do we, how do we keep stuff from getting lost now that all this con Constellation did some great work, so we want to capture that. So anyways, running right into it here. Back in the day, engineers and NASA used memorandums. This is how they communicated. This is how they moved information around. It was documented in the memorandum. If you did something, you, you documented it. Well, there was a shift from going to that, to email, and the web. Now what was lost is now where do you go to get whatever you are looking for? You know, the authoritative, how you're building something. There was a lot of ways that were came up of how do you do that, but they, they, there's a lot of problems with that. Um, good thing about email and web is there's quick questions, you get stuff answered, you Google search it, you do whatever and it's quick. Um, it's like a to-do list, oh Bob, did you get that email? Did you, did you respond? Oh, I didn't see your response, send me an email. Yeah, okay, well, anyways, and the con of that uh, is basically so fragmented, everything's you know, uh, thrown together, oh well this email connects to this email and it answers that specific question. And then websites get outdated. I mean, I, did, I have to look for like probably two minutes to just find all these outdated websites. So my idea within um, my particular branch was to start a wiki. A wiki is, how many people have actually edited a page on Wikipedia? That's pretty good for this. And most people, when I ask that question, it's like, like a percent. So I'm really excited about that. How many people have accounts on Wikipedia? Wow, this is a great audience. I could just like jump to my last slide or something. But um, so anyways. I started editing on Wikipedia about, um, I think it was about maybe 14 months ago now, and I really got into it. I was excited. There was actually a lot of pages already on there about NASA, and people had really spent a lot of time refining the pages on NASA and all the NASA centers and all the Na Apollo missions. I was like, this is incredible. These, the depth of knowledge on Wikipedia rivals that on the NASA.gov web pages. Um, and I'm like, that shouldn't be that way. It really shouldn't. We should be getting our information out there publicly and to ourselves in a much better way. Um, can we advance to the next slide? Thank you. So what we're doing, at, what I'm doing at Goddard and my team is doing is building an enterprise wiki, which means it has different requirements than Wikipedia. It's different, you're catering to a different audience, less geeks, I mean still geeks, but more people just trying to get stuff done quickly, so we have a WYSIWYG editor. Um, that was a little screenshot of it there. But what we're trying to do is build context, retain expertise, collaborate, keep the legacy information, because there's been a lot of talk of, oh, well, we, we can't keep on doing the same thing, but we don't want to reinvent the wheel. So we still have to know what's been done so that we can make a wise decision. We have to break the rules when it makes sense to break the rules. Um, this is my branch website, where the microwave and communication systems branch. This is our anechoic chamber. Um, I helped test that antenna in the, ch in the range there. And this page right here, I just built, I, I, we had a server they were from 1989. 1989, and we had a website on it, like a, a prototype, like almost like a, someone was trying to like found a gopher server and try to put it up on a gopher server. How many people know what a gopher server is? This is an awesome audience. I should. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so anyways, we, we basically, I, I, the text on that page I pulled from the, like the gopher page, and, and nobody had updated it since then, since 1989, and it was just ridiculous. And so. I pulled it in, and this was the first time that it had seen light since then. Um, but the w reason why a wiki is key is because anyone can edit it. It's out there, and, and it kind of it breaks down this power structure. And I think the open government thing is trying to do the same thing. It's trying to break down this power structure, you know, uh, not have these stratified layers, but allow someone at the top or, or somewhere in between to get right down to the answer, to talk to the engineer in the field who's dealing with this stuff. And, and that, that's what I think a wiki can do, is it levels the playing field. And I think it's great. I know um, a lot of XPRIZE teams are using wikis, um, especially Team Fred and some others, to, to do this. But it's awesome, because anyone can get involved. It's like open source to the extreme in terms of ideas, because anyone can go to the page, 
and they have a comment, they put a comment right on the page. They have a question, they go do it. Um, this slide right here talks about a connection idea I had of connecting basically all these ideas and we're going to build something on top of the wiki so that you can literally go to a page on a website that's flown or a, a page on a, on a spacecraft that's flown and see all the specs on it, like what kind of thrusters did it have, what kind of um, an, um, inertia wheels did it have, what kind of comm system did it have, and in a quick second all the technical engineers can get their, their answers instead of calling 25 people. Oftentimes it's so hard to get these basic questions answered like, oh, what, what kind of bus did we use? Oh, I don't know, go, go talk to Joe, and Joe says go talk to Paul, and then you know, two days later you have the answer you found, and if we documented it properly in a system that was going to exist more than a year later, it would have been easy to find that an answer. Um, so tacit knowledge is, is a key concept that I've been thinking about when I've been building this stuff. Tacit knowledge is the stuff that's hard to teach. It's like the, it's like the, uh, it's like the uh, knowledge in action, um, and that's the really hard stuff for NASA, um, and I'm sure for everyone. It's the kind of thing, well, yeah, you shouldn't use that tank at that pressure. Um, well, if it's, if it's in New Mexico, you can, but if it's here, you can't. I mean, it's, it's, it's the kind of stuff that it's almost so complex you can't document. It's in people's heads. And the tacit knowledge is what I'm, I'm trying to capture with this wiki. Um, this slide's basically showing that we're going to import some things, send links to things that already exist. Basically, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. Um, if people already have something that works, we're going to link to it. Um, if there's something that already exists out there that people are using, we want to archive it. And, and then so it's in the wiki so we can index it. So when someone does a keyword search, they'll find it and say, oh, well, this is from here. And they can go and find it here. The government uses it all the place, all the time already. Um, the private sector, 75% of all Fortune 500 companies already have wikis. They use them for production systems. The government is, 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 become, is very slow at adopting the technology, but we're getting it. Um, right down here it said Intellipedia um, is actually a huge uh, movement and, and a total power structure, a power structure destructor in the intelligence community. I don't know if, who's actually heard much about Intellipedia, anyone? A couple people. That's, um, but <laughs> I'm kind of moving along. Here. So the, basically how do we do it? We, we, we don't lock it down. We let people have access to this information, use it, and then use that to enhance the job we're doing instead of these power structures where people hold on to information and say, well, this is my project, this is my pet project, I can't let you see it because then that'll threaten my, you know, the, this empire I've built. Um, and so really I'm just trying to break down these castles so that within NASA and outside of NASA we're going to share this information freely and um, use the technology to inspire the universe. There we go. I just <laughs>